okay. So, I am going to attempt to make some mental thoughts about this, this great setup. So, first and foremost, um, one of the benefits is that I feel like externally we're not as affected by the things um, outside of us. The uh, people that in my class that were trying to do spiritual kinesiology couldn't test me <coughs> within my grid. And I have the you know, pineal tube grid. But um, it seems to be quite different from the person that is in the grid itself and then leaves. It seems to have less consistency um, where they come back after a weekend and it's or after yeah after a weekend and it's like they're stressed so I think it's more consistent if you are to keep it on your person or do the attunement because then you have it it's nice and consistent so if people are doing specific work inside of the grid um, I think that that's that's um that's perfectly fine. I mean, it, I guess it's just a matter of preference what people want to do. Um, maybe some people want to test their ability to um, stand up to the times that they're not in the grid, you know? Maybe they're trying to build their, their durability. But um, me personally, I just like to be um, just permanently in that state of being calm. So now the grid was set up initially as a no time so I ended up being like a zero point and you can make a lot of headway in the grid but you still have to do the work it's not you know good good things don't you know come free so you, you have to do some work as well uh, to work on yourself improving yourself and um, the cool part is is that it's with the grid it allows everyone to connect and work on that endeavor. So one of the challenges that I had with the grid was when I set it up um, was that there was a, seemed to be a pretty big disparity between me who I had done a lot of work on myself and continue to do work on myself every single day. And so what before was kind of a roller coaster ride where I'd have good days and bad days and I'd be struggling to maintain and other times where I felt like I was on top of the world that all leveled out so what I had was um, instead of this you know good day bad day I mean every time I was making headway so I mean, don't get me wrong I was actually making progress but um instead of having the ups and downs for the most part everything leveled out and so that part made it fantastic and the things that I knew I was struggling with the whole time those things just just leveled out and the only thing then was really a matter of me maintaining me so it wasn't all this external stuff anymore that was kind of making me crazy is everything from uh, <coughs> from driving down the street and the cell phone towers, the frequencies that are running, and people's emotions and their energy and your energy and those two things colliding, and electronics and just all that stuff, uh, that all kind of just becomes irrelevant. And then you're just kind of nicely behind your little firewall working on yourself. So um, that's kind of the goal was to take out all of the equation all these things that aren't us um, so that we, then we're just accountable for, for us and um, but the beauty is that we bring back in the many by doing the work intentionally for the benefit of ourselves and the many so we're working individually but also as a collective um, and intentionally instead of just through a morphic field that some know and some don't know about so I like the fact that it's intentional 
and I like the fact that it's creating an actual uh, network, um, kind of like our cell phone technology, but, you know, um, there's an intentional element of helping to make ourselves better and, and working on helping the whole, making, the, making that healing available to everyone else. So, um, it has kind of an interesting aspect. <coughs> no, the grid itself is in kind of like a zero point type grid and I know that's a far-fetched thing, but uh, the more you work with the energy, the more you'll understand. It's very electrical in nature um, when you work with it, um, when you channel it, um, you know, if you're really putting out a lot of output, uh, the water will actually taste slightly electrical and you can make the water very thick and it's almost like running it through a vortex type machine and um, very similar to the Ormus um, vortex machine that, that I had before. So anyway, it, it's, it's just a different energy. It's, uh, it's the kind of energy that will keep you awake all night if you work on it late at night. If you work with it, I'm not totally convinced that it is a healing energy. The intentions of the grid itself are uh, healing. So the intentions of the grid, um, where Zero Point is looking for that intention, allows for those intentions to be set. And that is what has been done as it's been set uh, in that Zero Point grid. <coughs> those intentions have been set and the requirements need to be met. And the requirements are that each individual is taking steps forward for themselves and for the whole. So that's the energy. Energy, um, it's, I don't know that I would use it like a Reiki. And I kind of experimented with that a little bit. It will give you a boost. Uh, it'll give you a, a boost. Um, I do, however, really enjoy the water. And the alkaline, the water. So if you ch channel it through as if you were doing Reiki channeling, for example, um, and focusing on the water and bringing in all of the grid's intentions also into the water and, um, you know, bringing in that. What I do is I bring in the zero point and I bring, activate the ormus of the water and um, bring in the intentions of the grid, bring in the grid energy. And I just do those four things and then I just stay focused and I allow that energy. <coughs> and it's intriguing actually to make your, um, you'll feel spikes of energy at the top of your head and at the pineal gland the more you work with it. And um, I bring that energy into the chest, kind of the center, um, the solar plexus, star solar plexus region. Um, we're into complications with the chakra system because um, you have all these blocks in the chakra system and this energy wants to just drive right through it. So it will kind of start moving that Kundalini energy and you feel that spiraling. If you have areas you haven't worked on, you're going to be uncomfortable until you work on those. So <coughs> you're going to want to work on those those particular areas and if it gets to be too uncomfortable then you just turn the grid off and um, come back to it when you're ready so I, I dialed down the grid a lot because I wanted to make sure that it wasn't uncomfortable and there are points where it was really uncomfortable I mean it was um, I think at that point I think I had it like putting us, stretching us, right, so making it to where we're just kind of uncomfortable, and um, instead of just, hey, max us out, <laughs> that was not, not awesome, so it was kind of like, hey, just bring it out, you know, to the greatest intent of the, or to whatever, to the highest level of our, and eventually I changed it so that it was less, <coughs> less awful of an experience, and made it so that there wouldn't be a healing crisis. It would be far less drastic. And I noticed that um, the people, even the people that were, had said, hey, you know, I'm accepting this grid. People that were knew it was there and would come through, um, 
initially, you know, they were having some healing crisis stuff, and then, but towards the end, they, after we adjusted for that, it wasn't like that anymore, it was hardly, it wasn't nearly as much, but, um, you know, colds could still be present, and (coughs) there's a kind of an obligation there of, you kind of have to do your part, and the reason the grid is useful, um, there's a couple of really key things that (coughs) have most definitely held firmly, I felt. One is that external influence component. Uh, The only things externally that can affect me are the things that I allow to affect me. So there's a lot of stuff that normally would affect me that's not. And that has held true even when I was, you know, even when I had my little, you know, incident where I had a problem and I got stressed out and I got sick, which is now and I'm still recovering from that, but um, I had been lock center, just really balanced for, I don't even know how long, it, it, it was a long time, it was basically the, the vast majority of the time that I was working with the grid, so pretty much very balanced, <clears throat> until this one area, so I had this one sector that was giving me problems, and, a, and a, lo and behold, of course, it was an uncomfortable spot, um, or the energy was getting kind of stuck there too, and I knew I, I needed to work on, which was finance, and um, yeah, we ha- had um, something go kaboom, kaboom and um, I had to deal with it, so, <clears throat> but lo and behold, of course, um, the other program that's running on the grid was a lot, there's a lot of programs on the grid, but one of the programs that's running on the grid, one of the most useful programs that's running on the grid is we have a tendency to put out um, negative thoughts that can then manifest. And so I tapered those down to where our negative thought chain's not going to manifest anything unless it's in our highest interest, uh, unless it's in the alignment of our higher self. So just making that absolutely sure that it's under control. So that way we can be um, relaxed about that and know that if we're out there having this string of a thousand terrible thoughts, that doesn't mean we don't need to try and taper that down. We do. (coughs) It'll show up in other ways internally. um, But for the external events, so let's say you have something wrong with your car and you're driving down the street and you see a cop or you're like, oh my gosh, I'm just going to get a ticket. I just know I'm going to get a ticket. I just know I'm going to get a ticket. Bam. Almost like lightning, you get a ticket. But it's not really in your best interest. You know, it's just you were thinking this. So you can kind of tell when you're in the grid that those things aren't playing out. They just kind of fizzle out. They're not being promoted out to the to um, your thoughts aren't being propelled out around you unless it's it's um, something that needs to happen. So that part has kind of been I mean, it's almost like um, putting a dampener on the stuff that's not going to f- serve your highest good, and so that's helpful too. And the reason that these things are in place is to give us an advantage of healing. So we're able to not be up against a bunch of stuff that externally we have no control over and we didn't ask for. Um, maybe socially, maybe there's people out there that have an extraordinary amount of power and have pushed this agenda. And so we have these things that are running out there and we, we have no chance really. I mean, with these things running, it makes it very complicated because you can be in a great mood, get hammered by a cell tower uh, pulse and bad mood for days um, or more. So, you know, no matter you're in a great place and now you're in a terrible place, this is going to just negate that. I have done muscle testing on cell phones. So my cell phone frequencies that normally would affect me. I've had people in a grid test cell phones and it, the cell phone makes me weak and it just comes out as a no. Um, and because they're in, they're in a grid 
and they're they're basically safe pretty much from those types of, and they're basically kind of neutralizing those types of frequencies so um, they're not going to impact us at least mentally spiritually so that is and I'm not saying go stick your head in a microwave but going, I'm not going to say, say stand there in front of your microwave while you're cooking food but um, it should be dampening part of that so <coughs> giving you a leg up so it's going to dampen what your output is going out there um, but it's also going to make it more complicated for people to read you uh, so like with my class people trying to do uh, spiritual kinesiology testing for me and they couldn't read me um, until I could until I basically said I was going to turn turn the grid off temporarily and I just remember to turn it back on when you're done um, that, that'll allow them to um, get the necessary information so you stop becoming a um, feeding frenzy for um, negativity so assuming there's vampires out there feeding off all your negative thoughts they're not going to benefit from that anymore <coughs> so that gets turned off so um, now one of the bigger challenges that we run into as a society and this is I think one of the more intriguing concepts of using the grid um, technology is that um, we have a tendency to be discombobulated as far as light workers, healers, whatever go. Everybody's got their own path and everybody's driving down that field. Everybody's got their own ball, they're driving down the field separately. And it's not cohesive. So we are all doing this work and we're doing it individually. And some of them, some of us are conscious that it's helping uh, the whole. There's a lot of us that aren't. We're just trying to strive to make our lives less sufferable. <laughs> or, or, I should say, take the, take the suffering out of our lives. Or become happier, just have a happier life. And all that's great. In fact, that's wonderful. And, and the more people that succeed, the better. But there is something, um, I think, that is uniting and... Uh, also kind of key <coughs> is for people to intentionally make that commitment that I am intentionally being a part of this process where my goal is to work on me and in turn help the rest and so by setting that intention I think we are activating this part of us that is so much more powerful because we are reconnecting to this source piece of us that uh, we run around here feeling separate and it's an illusion and we're not separate and uh, while we may, we may be sovereign in source uh, we definitely um, as humans are just um, a lot of lost little children so Really, what we're trying to do, what we're trying to accomplish, is to find a way to unify um, the healing methods while still embracing their individuality and creativity. Because that's what we're looking. That's what I look for. Is um, I find that most things don't work unless they have that element, that spark of creative force behind them that makes them unique and original and special and powerful so that's how these things come to life that's how they're imbued with the ability to heal is that somebody had this spark of, of information whether it's their own creative thought or you know some kind of source or godly or whatever you wanted to to call it um, inspiration so uh, this unifies that this brings all that together and uh, uh, bridges the gap so that's been missing which is the unification of all the different healers healers that are out there uh, the unification of your light workers your healing modalities and um, it just kind of disables and uh, 
kind of dissolves the ego to some degree because no longer do we need to worry about whose method works and whose doesn't because we're in a uh, dead heated race to the finish line no more um, now it's just about everybody is cooperating cooperating on an intentional level and doing it their own way and it's still promoting the healing and health to the whole and <coughs> wherever these grids are um, and they expand out you know we can make that program available to the people uh, that are around us and the grid is a, it, um, programs um, do allow for those who have that um, desire to uh, assume that program you know so and it'll be kind of probably limited you want to have the on and off features but you would be gaining at least the certain benefits that uh, we that would be run by the higher self so whatever benefits that is whether it's you know clearing energy or trying to help car out the, you know trying to um you know just some of the healing benefits or some there are certain qualities that you can get that don't require you to have the conscious state and that your your higher self can adopt and adapt and utilize <coughs> certain programs that are there so this is a very complicated tech and the reason it's complicated is because of the wording. A lot of this stuff had to be worded very carefully and with a lot of thought. And then in some cases reworked. Um, because uh, it's a matter of making sure that nobody uh, is having their sovereignty encroached upon. That these all of this stuff is available. Is it available at, you know the right levels um, that it's being uh, implemented and it escalated at safe levels that it's not being um, that the, the terminology and the technology is safe and um, so yeah I just I've learned over the years the hard way um, about working with this type of energy and it's very easy to um, word it badly and have it go badly. So this has really um, been kind of a fun little experiment, but um, I think the key is really that we're good now to move it forward and allow people to be, become part of that awesome process. So pretty exciting. <laughs>